Welcome to Live Lean TV. I'm Brad Gutfer from LiveLeanTV.com. So guys, on today's episode, I'm comparing the health benefits of canned versus frozen versus fresh fruits and vegetables. So I often talk about how high protein food should be the main building block of your meals and snacks. So if protein acts as the bricks to build your house, vegetables and on a lesser extent fruit act as the cement to keep everything together. So the health benefits of fruits and vegetables are well known. I mean, fruits and vegetables are filled with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and these nutrients strengthen your immune system, fight disease, and can help your body recover quicker after your workouts. But the big question is, what about your taste buds? Now, I'm happy to say, when you know how to cook vegetables and use spices, vegetables can play a key role in changing your boring meal into a flavorful masterpiece. Plus, fruit is essentially nature's candy. Now, here's where things get funny. The US government's food guide pyramid recommends four to five servings of vegetables per day and three to four servings of fruit per day. So guys, I want you to comment below. How many servings of fruits and vegetables do you average per day? Comment down below. And a side note guys, the same food guide pyramid from the United States government also recommends nine to 11 servings of rice, bread, cereal, and pasta. Yes, the government recommends you consume twice as many grains as vegetables. I'll just leave that with you. Ugh, screw it. Please do not follow nutrition advice from the government. Twice as many servings of bread than vegetables. Come on. All right, moving on. Maybe consuming four to five servings of vegetables and three to four servings of fruit seems hard for you, but there are a variety of ways to get it in on a daily basis. You can buy fruits and vegetables that are fresh frozen or canned. Plus you can buy each of these varieties of fruits and vegetables in either organic or conventional. Now I did a video on organic versus conventional. You can click right here to go watch that. So the question is which variety of fruits and vegetables should you buy? Well, that depends on what is most important to you. What do you value most in your fruits and vegetables? Is it taste? Is it cost? Is it convenience or is it nutrition benefits? Let's discuss each of these in more detail. Okay, first off, let's compare the taste of canned versus frozen versus fresh fruits and vegetables. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables obviously wins this category hands down. Sure, certain high quality frozen brands of fruits and vegetables will still taste good, but you can't beat the taste of fresh organic produce. Also, adding frozen fruit and vegetables to certain recipes can change the consistency of the meal or snack, which is due to the melted water caused by heating up the frozen produce. 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 Sorry. <laughs> okay, Jessica just informed me that I was saying produce wrong. Or I was saying it the Canadian way. So from a taste rankings perspective, the tastiest is fresh organic fruits and vegetables and the least tasty is conventional canned fruits and vegetables. All right, let's compare the cost. Conventional canned fruits and vegetables are usually the most economical, meaning they're the cheapest, but issues with added preservatives and BPA cans and the taste is the downfall. Fresh organic fruits and vegetables are usually the most expensive. So from a cost ranking perspective, the lowest cost is the conventional canned fruits and vegetables. And then the highest cost is the organic. All right, let's compare convenience. Canned and frozen fruit and vegetables are more convenient due to their increased shelf life. Plus, you can always stock up on the canned and frozen produce during a sale. Now, the downfall with fresh produce is it has a limited shelf life, which requires more trips to the grocery store, more potential wasted money, and stinking up your fridge. However, you can also freeze certain fresh produce and then defrost when you're ready to use, but since we're ranking convenience here, guys. You might as well just buy frozen. So from a convenience ranking, most convenient is canned and frozen fruits and vegetables, and least convenient is the fresh. All right, let's move on to comparing the nutrition benefits. Now, surprisingly, frozen fruit and vegetables can sometimes be more nutritious than fresh. The reason, the ripeness of the fruit or the vegetable is what controls the overall quality of the nutrients. Frozen produce can be picked during peak ripeness and then immediately frozen to preserve all the nutrients in the produce. This can create an overall more nutritious piece of fruit or vegetables versus a fresh piece that is overripe or underripe. But just be careful to only buy fresh fruits and vegetables that do not contain added preservatives. Also, many canned fruits and vegetables can have added preservatives to extend the shelf life. 
life. So canned produce also has potential BPA issues that leaks into the food from the canned lining. So make sure you always read the nutrition label and look for fruits and vegetables in BPA-free cans. So the most nutritious, fresh, locally produced organic ripe fruits and vegetables. By purchasing local produce, it's usually a good sign that it's at its optimal nutrition level. And least nutritious, your conventional canned fruits and vegetables in BPA lined cans. So there you have it, Lively Nation. As you can see, there are three different ways to consume more fruits and vegetables in your daily diet. Each way has a varying taste, cost, convenience, and nutritional benefits. So it's now up to you to figure out what you value most, then do what you can to hit your daily fruits and vegetables quota. And if you're struggling to consume enough vegetables in your diet because you just hate the boring and the bland taste, we have you covered, guys. Vegetables can taste amazing when you know how to cook them and you know what spices and dressings to use to make them taste delicious. And this is what we show our members on our group coaching platform, Team Live Lean. Our members get access to over 200 video cooking recipes, weekly meal plans, grocery lists, and monthly four-week workout programs to live lean. Remember, Live Lean Nation, you're just one program away from turning your diet and your workouts into a lifestyle. That's what it's all about here on Live Lean TV. So I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys to get started today. Thanks for watching and keep living lean.